Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a video which is just going to explain everything you need to know about Gymshark leggings. Now with each pair of legging I'm just going to talk through how they fit the booty, how they fit the legs, what they're like on the waist, what type of material they are, whether they're squat proof, whether they're sweat proof, the sizing on them, whether they give you a camel toe, uh, my favourite colours and what I most commonly use them for. So like leg day, body day, cardio, whatever. So I'm going to give you that full information on every legging. We are going to start with the Flex Legging, a very popular, very well known legging by Gymshark. These leggings of course have the booty contour, wrong way around, have the booty contour and leg contour and uh, these were kind of the first contour leggings that Gymshark brought out. The contour on the Flex is quite thick and bold and it's not discreet so if you want a subtle contour that's not the flex for you. It works to make your bum look perkier, to make to shape your legs in a nice way, and it has been very effective. That's why this legging has been so popular. They are a flattering pair of leggings. I actually find these less flattering directly from behind, just because I think, I don't know, sometimes it's a bit a block of colour and it's just not as flattering as sometimes having a seam and giving you that like little wedgie look. But I do have to say I do love them because they are flattering from the side. They do make your bum look perky. They do shape your legs nicely and they are, they do rank highly with flatteringliness on the legs and booty. So onto the waistband. The waistband is not high waisted as such. It wasn't created a high, as a high waisted waistband. Wow, well, that's hard to say. I do have to pull them up to make them high waisted, which is fine, but they do sit on most people below the belly button. So if you are looking for a super high waisted pair, these probably aren't your best bet. Second thing to say is the, the actual waistband itself, I do find really flattering on my stomach area. I don't know what it is, but it seems to pull my stomach like fat down and so it gives me like a really flat stomach look and also like it brings out my abs a lot more than other leggings so I do find it really stomach really stomach <laughs> what is wrong with me I do find it really flattering on the stomach and I am a fan of the waistband of the flex leggings for sure as for the material of them, very soft and very stretchy. Um, the flex leggings are known to be a very stretchy legging. Picking a size with the flex legging, as you just heard, the material is very, very stretchy. So I would size to your waist rather than to your legs. A lot of people size down in the flex just because they are so stretchy. Um, but for me, I go for a small and I could size down to an extra small, but I quite like the waistband as it is on the small. I have a 25 inch waist and I wear a small and that waistband fits me well. If you have a smaller waist than that or you want it super tight on the waist you can size down. Also if you have uh, smaller legs than me I would recommend sizing down because even these have leeway on my leg. Squat proof. I do find these squat proof. Um, I find these squat much more squat proof than a lot of leggings. I've worn them for leg days, they've been absolutely fine. And yeah, I guess the more you size down the more you're gonna have a problem with see-throughness or kind of sheerness because as if you pull a material tight enough, it will go see-through. If you pull it any material enough, it's gonna go see-through in the end. Unless it's paper and it won't go see-through. Sweat-proof, yes, I find these perfectly sweat-proof. Um, I haven't heard men, I haven't really heard complaints about this, the Flex not being sweat-proof. Um, I'm not an extremely sweaty person, but I have done sweaty workouts in flex leggings and they have been fine. Camel toe. Now, if you, this is too much information or you just want to skip the camel toe section, you're not into that shiz, then you can skip this section. But I know there are a load of ladies out there who want to know about the camel toe. I don't tend to struggle too much with the flex, um, with, a, with the bulge. Maybe that's because my legs are bigger and it stretches the material near that area out. I feel like if it's a little bit baggy or loose in that area, you could struggle more. But if you just pull the material, kind of like shimmy the material out around your thighs, it really helps. And I personally don't find that there's too much of a problem with a camel toe, apart from a tiny little bulge. At the end of the day, it's natural. And I say this to everyone that asks me about it. It is natural. If it happens, don't worry, just rock it. And these are most commonly used for leg days and upper body days, I find. Yeah, defo. So that's all about the flex. And my favourite colours are this blue, because it's bold and it's funky and I love the waistband and I love these colours together. This grey, because it's just a classic. It goes with absolutely everything and I love that kind of colour grey and both of those colours greys. And the pink, which are inside out right now. But 
they are basically the same colour on the inside. Light grey and a cute little pink colour. You can't go wrong. So those are my three faves and that is the flex leggings. Done. And next we have the fit leggings by Gymshark. Obviously it's the Gymshark video. They are just a plain colour all the way down with a colourful waistband. Uh, they don't have booty contour, they don't have leg contour, they don't have no contour. They don't have no contour. Um, but they are still seamless in the crotch area. You do not have a, a, like a seam running down the middle of the crotch. You don't have the contour, so it doesn't give you that kind of perky, wow, attracting you to the booty look. Um, they are tight, um, but in a way, they like mold your legs and bum, but not in a, in, you know when something's so tight, it squishes you and gives you less shape? These are tight and mold your bum in a way to complement them. Yeah, I guess it just depends on your preference. They're not like boldly, obviously kind of contouring and complementing your legs in that way, but they do give you a round um, look and they definitely complement your legs. If the waistband, um, what, this waistband I think is one of my favourites out of all the Gymshark leggings. Um, it has a non slip kind of like clear gel strip throughout the waistband and that stops them sliding down which is just perfect because my just most annoying thing is having to pull up leggings all the time which when you have a big bum or big legs they tend to they do tend to rise down a lot more rise down no fall down a lot more so um so yeah i love the waistband of these again the waistband like itself is super flattering i feel like it drags down my fat and gives me that quite toned thin stomach look which I do really like um they do sit a lot more not a lot more but a slightly higher so they would probably be more comfortably high-waisted on most people but again they are not a high-waisted legging as such so they're not like super high-waisted like the seamless the material is very 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 comfy I remember the first time I wore these I wore them for like 24 hours straight and that is not like me because I have sensitive skin I usually find lycra is quite itchy and like they, they agitate my skin, but this is super, super, super soft. Yeah, the leg material has less stretch than the flex, so I wouldn't recommend sizing down in these. Um, they are they overall feel quite a bit tighter than the flex, much less stretchy leg area. The waistband um, tightness is pretty much similar to the flex, so you could always size down in the flex and stay the same in these. I wear small in both and these are a lot tighter than the flex. They do also come in a cropped style which is good. Um, I'm five foot four and they are still pretty cropped on me so like I wouldn't say if you're five foot four you're gonna get away with them looking like a full length legging. Squat proof I have not had any problems with them but I have heard on the interweb that quite a few people have had problems with the fit um, with squat proofness um, and just look it looking quite sheer uh, when you squat and stuff so personally I haven't really had any problems but that might be because I do tend to use them for cardio just because of the non-slip waistband. I don't have any other leggings with non-slip waistbands, so of course I'm always going to use my fit when I'm doing cardio or anything kind of high intensity when I'm moving around loads and like jumping and stuff like that. Never jump in the gym, but you know what I mean? But I have worn them on a leg day before and I didn't really find that I did have problems with them. Um, but that's just a personal opinion. Um, sweat proofness. Um, I think I wore these on a leg day and I got a little bit of sweat in that like just above the bum area. But it was a tiny, tiny, tiny amount and it was a very sweaty workout. So I don't know how, what other people, um, what experience other people have had with sweat with these. But I'm not a sweaty person. I did sweat a, a lot during the workout that I wore these on and I did get a little speckle of sweat. To be honest. That doesn't bother me. Camel toe wise, and um, these do again just like the flex, but I would say a tiny little bit more than the flex actually. Do give you a little bit of a bulge. My two favourite colours are the grey and cranberry and the marine blue. Is it marine or lagoon? I think it's lagoon. Lagoon blue. Two favourite colours, and that is the fit leggings. Done. So next we're on to the oh so 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 very popular seamless leggings. One of the newest uh, leggings releases by Gymshark, and I think the most popular. I'm not going to talk too much about these just because I do have a whole video based around them. Um, if you want, they are, the video is called The Most Flattering Leggings in the World, so you probably know where to find that video. Just on my channel, head over there after this video. Check that out if you want to know more about Seamless. But I am going to run through all the points still, just pretty quickly. Um, of course, you have booty contour. What these are famous for is this thin little booty contour and the quad booty contour. And these contours are to make you look curvy. They are much subtler. 
I just spat. They are much uh, more subtle than the Flex Contour, which is what I personally love. Um, the Flex was a little bit bold and a little bit um, obvious, the contour for me. So this is just like a couple of lines here and there. Like, it could literally just be sweat marks, you know, which I'm okay with. These make such a difference. They really do perk up your bum, give you um, a really kind of like perky shaped bum. Also, it contours your quad, which just gives you a really curvy, um, lovely look. The waistband is super high waisted. The first kind of like super high waisted waistband by Gymshark, which I think is why a lot of you like this legging as well. High waisted is very popular and very flattering. Now, the waistband is super high, and for someone like me who has a tiny, tiny torso, my legs are very long and my torso is very small. So this kind of just comes up to here. Um, so I do end up rolling it down. This is the beauty of this legging. It looks good rolled down. You can literally roll it down one notch or a bit more or a bit more and you can put it at whatever length you like. Your belly button just above, just below. This is the main thing I like about this legging. This waistband is technically adjustable because it looks good whether you roll it down a little bit or a lot or you leave it kind of high waisted. Yeah, the waistband overall is a very flattering waistband. The material of the seamless legging is more similar to the flex legging. It's very soft, it's very stretchy, and again, quite a few people size down on the seamless just because the leg material is stretchy and the waist is a tiny bit bigger than the flex. So if I leave it rolled all the way up, this top bit is a little bit loose on my waist. And I have a 25 inch waist, don't forget. So I could definitely in these size down to an extra small. Now I personally would prefer to just roll it down and for it to fit me that way because I don't want it to be um, the material to be spread too tightly because I don't want it um, to be sheer or see-through when I'm squatting or whatnot so I tend to just keep with a small but if you do like it super tight on the waist I would recommend sizing down you shouldn't worry too much about the leg material being too tight because again it's very stretchy camel toe now these also do give you a bulge i feel like i've said that like six times now i haven't really had heard too many complaints about camel toes with this type of legging so you should be okay my favorite color i can't actually decide i like the blueberry because they're funky and i wear them well i wear both of them a lot yeah they're funky and squat proof and then i like these because they're flattering and they just go with everything and i just like them both i just can't decide and they are most commonly used for leg days and upper body days and just every day I love them a lot. <laughs> and next we have the dry sculpture leggings. Now these are quite different um, because, probably because they have a seam. So that just differentiates them from all the other pairs we've seen so far. So with flatteringliness on the booty and legs, I do find these super, super flattering and I always get compliments when I wear them. For some reason I always say this, but they make your hamstring pop. I find them really flattering on the booty. They give you the mini wedgie look. Um, I just really like the material so soft and so stretchy and just molds your legs really well. So I do find these really flattering on the legs and booty. Waistband is, um, it's high waisted, definitely I would say it was high waisted, it comes up to my belly button. Um, I find it flattering, from the side it's flattering, it gives me um, a kind of small stomach look. I wouldn't say it was as flattering as the flex or fit on, from my point of view, I know a lot of people find seamless more flattering than those, but in my opinion, um, the flex and fit uh, waistbands are my favourite. This is like a little notch less flattering than that, but I wouldn't say it's unflattering at all. I love the waistband still, and I do find it very flattering. Now, the other great thing about these is they have the phone side pockets, which I use all the time, and I absolutely love. I just find this really helpful when I'm walking around the house as well, like making food, to just put your phone in the pocket. I wish all leggings had that. Material is, again, like kind of cottony, kind of soft. The material in the grey is slightly different, slightly tighter, slightly kind of more sturdy and harsher. That's the only um, other color that's slightly different. The other colors follow this kind of texture more. Very soft, very, um, just like a kind of nice sports wearing material to wear. Squat proof, again, yes, I find these completely fine. I've used these for loads of leg days, but I did see a video where someone was showing how they weren't squat proof with these specific this specific color. So that is really generally down to how it fits your figure and what happens when you squat. Sweat proof, I find them absolutely fine. Um, the colours are quite dark and even with this colour, I think because the material is so thick, you'd, you'd feel like sweat would come out really easily on this colour, but it doesn't seem to because the material is so thick and sturdy. Um, Camel toe wise, I don't really seem to have a problem with these. If I yank them up super, super high, obviously like any legging, you are going to have a problem. But I don't really seem to struggle during a normal workout with that issue with these leggings. 
My favourite colour is the purple, just because, I don't know why, but I just find them so flattering on the bum and the hamstrings especially. Um, yeah, and I just really, really like them. They're quite a different colour. I don't really usually wear colours like this. That is the the dry, I was going to say fit, the dry sculpture leggings done. So that was the end of the video. I just covered the three main pairs of leggings and um, I hope that was helpful. Any other questions about the leggings or information that I've missed out, check below. I always try and reply to comments as soon as possible. Um, that is pretty much all we have for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget, forget to engage with the video just because YouTube's doing that ting or it unsubscribes you if you don't engage. I've said this at the end of all videos and I'm going to keep saying it because YouTube is really annoying me and it just really grinds my buttons. Don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave me a comment below because I just like lying in bed at night and reading your comments and replying to them. It's like my favourite thing to do or waking up in the morning and doing the same thing. That's so sad, but it's one of my favourite things to do. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video, if not before, on my other social medias. I love you very much. Goodbye. Mwah.